All right, we're, they're asking us to graph. They're asking us to put this in standard form. This is a parabola, of course. And then find the vertex, focus, directrix, and graph it, all of those things. So standard form, if we harken back to this in our book, and notice that the y is being squared. So standard form is going to be y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. That's standard form. I'm trying to put this equation into that form. So I've got to complete the square. To complete the square, the first thing I do is take half of that and square it, which is negative 1 squared is 1, add it, and also subtract it to the same side. Now, I could have also added it to both sides, or I could add it and subtract it to the same side. Okay? Now I'm going to take that and factor it. Y minus, that doesn't look very nice. Let me try that again. I'm going to take that and factor it. Y minus 1 squared. That's why it's called completing the square. And now let's move these things over to the other side. Notice that these add up to negative 6. So this is, when I subtract 6x from both sides, you get negative 6. And when I add 6, I get plus 6. Now I'm going to put this, see how it's not quite in that form yet? because I don't have this by itself yet. I don't have the x by itself. I get it by itself by factoring out a negative 6. When I factor out the negative 6, I get x minus 1. Alright, so I've got y minus 1 squared equals negative 6 times x minus 1. Now I need to find out what p is. Well, 4p equals negative 6. So let's make a little algebra problem over here. 4p equals negative 6. What is p? p equals negative 3 halves. Okay? So now I have to understand what ne what p represents on my graph. Well, first of all, notice that the y is being squared, which means my parabola is opening up sideways. Next, notice that my p is negative, which means it's opening up to the left, not to the right. Right? So my cent now I gotta find my center. Let's always start not my center, my vertex. My vertex is one, one. One comma one is my vertex. One, one, there's my vertex. Okay. P is negative three halves, which means three halves to the right of this, which means right there at two and a half, because that's one and a half to the right is my directrix. There's my directrix. And the direct equation for my directrix, I'll call that D, is notice it's a vertical line, so it's x equals. Now what's that? Well I started at one and I went over one and a half to the right. So that's two and a half or two point five. Okay? Got it? The focus, that's the other thing they're gonna want. What's the focus? I'm gonna go the other direction, I'm going to go one and a half to the right of that, so that's over here at one half. There's my uh, focus. My focus is right there. Now that focus isn't actually on my graph, but that's what they want to know. What's my focus? It is negative point five, comma, one. And my graph will actually look like something like this. There's my equation. Is that is that a function? Yes or no? Is y a function of x? No, it's not because no, it, it doesn't pass the vertical line.